Hey folks, Rudd's here. Tonight we're going to do a uh, razor comparison. Merker Progress, Parker Variant. So you can see they're about the same size, the uh, handle there on the uh, Progress or the adjuster, I should say, makes it slightly longer. In terms of weight, pretty close, but the Parker's slightly heavier. I wish I had my scale with me. Packaging, Progress comes in this. There's some instructions in there and a uh, marker blade. Definitely won't be using that. The Parker comes in this cardboard box. Instructions in there as well. Both of these are loaded with a brand new Gillette Silver Blue and are set to two and a half. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. So I'm going to uh, get lathered up here off camera. We'll come back and we'll uh, we'll do the left side with the Parker, the right side with the uh, Progress, and then we'll. Uh, wrap it up through the uh, magic of editing we're gonna get this show on the road parker so i'm gonna do uh my head the way i normally would and i'll just switch razors when I would normally rinse. I really like the uh, the handle, the knurling on this Parker. It's got a it's got a great grip to it. All right, this is the progress. Let me shake some water out of those channels. So they're both on setting two and a half. The blades feel pretty close to even in terms of efficiency. The um, handle on this is grooved, but it's there's no knurling. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's a problem. It's definitely slightly more slippery. I can feel that. I'm typically messy when I shave my uh, shave my melon here. So soap and water get all over the place. Still gonna stay on the right side even though I just rinsed the razor. I don't know if you can hear that but it definitely has good audible feedback. Which I rely quite a bit on when I'm doing the back of my head. Parker. Parker has good audible feedback as well. The top cap of the Parker seems slightly less resistant. Not that we're talking there's any resistance at all in the progress but it's a little bit smoother the uh, sweet spot angle for both razors is almost identical so I think if you're used to one 
you're going to have no problem picking up the other rinsing but I'm going to stay on the left so I'm going to stay with the Parker nice long handle on both of these razors um, I actually like a shorter handle but many of the uh, head shavers out there prefer the uh, you know the longer handle if I had to guess that's four inches maybe three three and three quarters switching to the uh, right side I'm going to use my left hand just because that's what I do, but progress. All right, let's wet the hands. That's damn near an identical shave to my feel. All right, let me get cleaned up. We'll come back, I'll throw on some aftershave and we'll just talk some final comments about each razor and we'll uh, pick a winner here. All right, folks, we're back. We're going to throw on some fine Le Orange Noir. So the uh, progress can be had on Amazon.com amongst other places for about $65. The... Uh, Parker is available at several third-party retailers. Um, went in stock. I think right now it's out of stock just about anywhere, but it retails for $57. I'll provide a link below to uh, supersafetyrazor.com, which is, I believe, the North American or the U.S. distributor for Parker products. Um, so if I had to, if I had to kind of pit these two head to head for a final result and pick a winner, um, I like the build quality of the Parker slightly better. This is a little looser down here than this. Um, the knurling on the handles better than the grooving on this handle. Um, the heads are essentially identical. Um, this is a chrome finish. This is a brush satin finish. Um, the shave is so close. You really think you'll be happy with either one if you like modern adjustables. Um, and then the price, obviously, this is a few bucks less. So if I had to pick a winner, it's the uh, Parker variant. Uh, that being said, if you do decide to buy a black one, uh, be prepared for the paint on the handle to flake. Uh, I had one, it flaked, but in fairness to Parker, I contacted uh, Super Safety Razor. Two days later, this showed up at my door. Full replacement, no questions asked. I offered to send pictures, they didn't even they didn't even ask to see them. I did send them, however, just to show them what was going on. So I don't know if they're addressing it or if they're just going to do full bore replacements all the time. So keep that in mind, folks. Thanks all for watching. Have a good day.